Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick coming to you this week from Northwest Indiana. We are in Northwest Indiana this week for our Engage Indiana series, the seventh of nine events we're holding statewide. We assembled more than 300 business community academic leaders here to talk about big issues facing the region. Now, specifically, we are at the 11th Street station of the South Shoreline here in Michigan City. We were at this station one year ago. It was much different, not nearly complete. Now it is finished, part of a $650 million double track project of the South Shore Line, cutting about 30 minutes off the commute from Michigan City to downtown Chicago. It is one great example of momentum that is rolling in the region. And joining me now with more on the impact of this uh, major project in Northwest Indiana, Mike Nolan is the president of the South Shore Line. And Mike, as always, great to see you. Uh, we were here a year ago and we talked. Yeah. A lot different uh, now that this uh, double tracking is complete. I know you're working through some bugs on scheduling, but talk about the impact. It's really exciting to see the the actual operations that the infrastructure has been has made um, possible. And while we are getting better every single day, um, the ability to run the additional trains, to, to plug in uh, schedule gaps that we had before, the flexibility that we have now that we didn't have before, it's amazing and it's only going to get better and uh, we're looking for great things to come. More trains cutting that commute time from, uh, in this case, Michigan City to downtown Chicago by about 30 minutes. 20, 30 that's, minutes, yeah. That's substantial. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a game changer for people's schedules. Um, in reducing time to and from Chicago. We really want to open up the market for folks who are time sensitive and need to get back to their, their homes and can't spend three hours a day on the train. But if it's a little over two hours, you open up that job market in Chicago, uh, bring back those higher wages and reinvest them here in the state of Indiana. It's a quality place. It, it's the opportunities to um, live in your community, but then go to a place like Chicago for uh, work for medical services, for see friends, to, to go to a Bears or a Cubs or a Sox game um, and make it convenient to do so and unlock the uh, connection between Northwest Indiana and Chicago. In addition to the convenience factor, there's also development, uh, current but also probably future development. Yeah. Talk about the impact here in Michigan City. I know a big project right in the shadow of where we're standing. Sure, now. right behind us here is a $100 million project. First phase is to finish the parking garage, which is nearly up now. We hope to open it up in February of next year. The, off, or the towers are, are there and being built for the 100 or 200 unit, 12 story uh, luxury apartment buildings and some retail space. And then just right down the street, there's a $300 million development that's going to be a mixed condo and hotel operation right off the lake. It's a really exciting time to be here in Michigan City. This is one big project on the South Shore. Another big one, actually bigger than this, 900 plus million dollars yeah. is the West Lake ex uh, extension, and that will open up in the spring. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't wait to open up the West Lake and then really offer um, really enhanced commuter rail services here to the residents of Northwest Indiana. And you can go from South Bend to Hammond, transfer on a station and go down to Munster Dyer or go the other way. Or if you want to go from Munster to Chicago, I mean, it gives you so many different options and enhances our service offering for the region. Big question, then what's next? So we're right now out with our engineering firm, uh, AECOM, and we're gonna survey our stakeholders, our citizens, our riders, our elected officials, our planning organizations, and find out what's the vision for the South Shoreline for the next 20 years, and what do we wanna see as a region? West Lake is a phased project. We got to Munster Dyer. It was originally envisioned to go to Lowell, St. John, and Cedar Lake. South Bend wants to go from the airport and bring it back to downtown South Bend or maybe service to La Porte or to Valparaiso. What's the vision for the region from a commuter rail standpoint for the next 20 years? And I can't wait to hear what people's ideas are. Mike Nolan, the president of the South Shore Line, appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations on the, the project. Yeah, it's always great to be with you. The westbound train is now arriving. Please stand clear. Northwest Indiana the gateway to Chicago. Indiana's second largest economy. A region built on steel and heavy manufacturing, but one that is increasingly embracing technology. Microsoft has announced plans for a $1 billion data center in Laporte with 200 jobs. And the region is critical to a planned quantum corridor connecting downtown Chicago to Hammond and ultimately to the Crane Naval Surface Warfare Center with internet speeds 500 times faster than the blink of an eye. Northwest Indiana 
feels more like a part of Indianapolis every day. And that's one of our goals. I mean, you and I have talked about this for years now, about how, how do you make the region more a part of Indiana? There are other indicators that Northwest Indiana is on the move. Wages are on the rise. And with increasing numbers of people moving into the region from Illinois, population is increasing for the first time in more than a decade. Our connectivity to the city of Chicago is, is strong and um, we're growing that in a technology base. And so, so looking at the things, you know, we've got all of these great ingredients and they're starting to really bubble up together to form something pretty special. Meantime, quality of life improvements are transforming communities throughout Northwest Indiana. Hammond spending millions to redesign its downtown with a goal of becoming a destination rather than a drive through city. In Valparaiso, there's the $54 million link, 127 apartments, commercial space, and a parking garage. In Michigan City, in addition to tens of millions of dollars in rail-related projects, the planned closing of the Indiana State Prison and closure of Nipsco's massive generating station will make two prime pieces of real estate ripe for development. Mayor Angie Nelson Deitch tells me she's dreaming big. I don't want to see housing there. Sorry, developers, but I would love to see a stadium on the lakefront. I would love to see outdoor parks or maybe a new gateway into the National Park with a lodge. I mean, I, I have some pie in the sky ideas uh, for that site. And there are also signs of economic bounce back in Gary. City leaders there working with the University of Notre Dame to help redevelop Gary's downtown area, including plans to spend big bucks to upgrade its transit hub, the Adam Benjamin Metro Center. And certainly when many people think of Gary, they think of the family that once lived at 2300 Jackson Street. Well, I said, I'm going back to Indiana. Indiana, here I go, yeah, yeah. Gary, the hometown of the Jackson Five and the King of Pop. Welcome to the Eras Tour. And there's buzz in the air this weekend in Indianapolis for the Queen of Pop. Central Indiana rolling out the red carpet for the final leg of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. Find out how it's driving big bucks for Hoosier hotels, restaurants, and retailers.